In this video, we're going to learn another math technique, and this is going to involve multiplying by 111. Now with this technique, the number here, it needs to be either a three digit number or more. It could be a three, it could be a four, it could be a five. It just needs to be three or more. And we're going to solve these four problems. And so let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the seven, we'll put it at the end. Then I'm going to put a parentheses. I'm going to do seven plus three, seven plus three. Then I'm going to do another parentheses. I'm going to do 7 plus 3 plus 2. 7 plus 3 plus 2. And this is important. We're going to cap at 3. And then the next one, we're going to shift one place. So instead of starting here, we're going to start at 3 and 2. So we'll have 3 plus 2. If you want, you can put plus 0, but that's not essential. Then we're going to do this again. We're going to shift one place, and so we just get a 2. And so we're going to get 2, parentheses, 3 plus 2 is 5, Parentheses, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 7 plus 3 is 10, and we have a 7. Now, with the parentheses, it needs to be a one-digit number, but this is 2, so we need to carry the 1. So this becomes 13, but again, we need to carry the 1, and so this becomes a 6. And so our final answer is 2, 6, 3, 0, 7. This right here is our final answer, and I encourage you to use a calculator to verify it. Now we did a few interesting things and I want you to be thinking about it because at the end as a challenge I want you to kind of come up with why we're doing what we're doing. So this is the next problem. So we have a three digit number and we're multiplying it by 111. So again we take our six, the next one we shift one place. So six plus two, so I'm gonna write down six plus two. Then we do the same thing, six plus two plus seven, six plus two plus seven. Again, we're capping at three, and we're gonna see why that's gonna be important in the next type of problems. So then we shift another place. So now instead of six starting, we're gonna start with two, two plus seven, so two plus seven, and our final number is just seven. And so we have seven parentheses, two plus seven is nine, six plus two is eight, eight plus seven is 15. Then we have six plus two is eight, and then we have six. Again, we can't have a two digit number, so we need to carry it. So nine plus one is 10, which we then need to carry it again. So we get seven plus one is eight, that's a zero, that's a five, that's an eight, and that's a six. And so this right here is our final answer. Okay, now this problem we have four digit number and we're still multiplying by 111. So again, we start with our four. We do our parentheses, we say four plus three, then we do the next one. We're gonna say four plus three plus two. Again, very important, we cap at three. And so now we have another one. We're gonna do parentheses again. We're not gonna say four plus three plus two plus one because we cap at three. And so instead we're shifting one place, we're gonna say three plus two plus one. And then we're gonna do this again. We're gonna shift another place, two plus one. And then we have our final one. And so we have one, two plus one is three, three plus two is five, five plus one is six, four plus three is seven, seven plus two is nine. Then we have four plus three is seven. And then we have four. Now each of these numbers are single digits, so we have our answer, one, three, six, nine, seven, four. And so this right here is our final answer. Okay, this is our last problem, same procedure. We take our one, do our parentheses, we say one plus four, one plus four, then we go again, we say one plus four plus six, one plus four plus six. Again, we cap at three, that's important. And then our next one, we don't say one plus four plus six plus five, we say four plus six plus five. So four plus six plus five. And then we go again, we say six plus five. And then we do our final one, which is just five. And so now we can clean it up. We have five parentheses, six plus five is 11. Four plus six is 10, 10 plus five is 15. Then we have four plus six is 10, 10 plus one is 11. One plus four is five. And then we have our one. So we carry the one, this now becomes 16. Carry the one, this now becomes a 12 carry the one, this becomes a six. So we have six, and this piece becomes a two, this five became a six, and the one remained, and then these two stay the same, five and one. And so this right here is our final answer. And as a challenge, comment below why this works. If you don't know exactly why this worked, but maybe you have some sort of hypothesis, go ahead and comment below. And I'll give you a hint. This is 111, we're capping at three. What if you did this, times one, 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 one? Would we cap at four? Would we cap at five? Would we cap at two? Kind of be thinking about this and maybe even test it out. But as a challenge, comment below why this works. But this right here is the challenge. And that's pretty much it for this video. 